Meanwhile, access to a local bank branch is also becoming an issue. With more customers shifting to online banking, brick-and-mortar businesses are having a hard time keeping their doors open and finding their place in this new digital reality. Santander Bank announced it will close four of its New Jersey locations as part of a larger plan to shutter 13 branches throughout New Jersey and Philadelphia. It follows a recent move by PNC Bank to do the same, leaving customers Customers, especially in communities with high populations of seniors, feeling shut out. Raven Santana reports. Some people have to travel in Ocean County 10 miles to go to a bank, and that's outrageous. It just got a lot harder to find a bank in Ocean County after one third of the county's banks have closed shop. Joseph Vicari, county commissioner, says the trend is most concerning because the community is home to close to 200,000 seniors, many of which suffer from things like mobility issues and visual impairments. We have 91 communities in Ocean County that have only senior citizens. We're worrying about the future right now. In 2020, U.S. banks set a new record for shuttering retail branches as more consumers bank digitally. In 2021, banks shattered that record by 38 percent. New Jersey saw a net loss of 134 banks in 2021. In New Jersey alone, we've had 16 in the last two years. So there have been 16 branch mergers and acquisitions, and, and we've lost a large number of those branches in Ocean County. PNC will be closing several of its branches in Ocean County in mid-January. The announcement from PNC is the latest in a string of bank branch closings as banks expand their digital services and consumers make more transactions electronically. PNC released a statement saying, PNC recognizes that branches continue to play an important role for many customers when it comes to conducting certain transactions and holding important in-person financial conversations with our banking experts. We remain committed to delivering on our purpose to move all forward financially, and we are confident that we can meet or exceed our customers' needs at nearby branch locations alongside other available methods of banking. There's more money to be made. True, and I understand that. If you close the branch down, if you put up a, an ATM and have them service a different way, but what about part of the population of Ocean County, which is almost 700,000 people in the winter? In the summer, 1.3 million people. It's a lot because of the tourist industry. A lot of uh, people who have chosen to come here uh, retire affordably at the Jersey Shore who are aging and need the service. Maria LaFace is director of the Office of Senior Services in Ocean County. She's now concerned that those most vulnerable to exploitation and fraud will be scammed more frequently and easily. Now, without those tellers, which I call the gatekeepers, the first line of defense, for our older adults and for disabled residents, there's no one that's going to see these transactions occurring. They're occurring digitally. So that's my big fear. LaFace says more than 50 brick and mortar banks have closed here in Ocean County since December 2022. That includes this location here behind me that was once a Wells Fargo. We originally started discussing this issue over a year ago we uh, found that 50% of all brick and mortar banks had closed in Ocean. That was approximately 24 to 25% of the total banks. Now we are at 31% of uh, closures. It's probably in the range of 70, 75 banks closing. And that's closed. We've got more coming. Applications are pending. LaFace says if the trend continues, the livelihood of residents, businesses, and the community as a whole are at risk. It's a very quiet, subtle, very little notice slaughter. Relying on ATMs and um, bank cards, there's fees associated with every one of those trends for the most part. LaFace and Vicari say while they have met with banks to discuss the issue, the situation has only gotten worse. Everyone I spoke with advocated for public hearings before a new branch closes. For Angie Spotlight News, I'm Raven Santana.